In the last video, we saw the difference between a DLL and an EXE was simply the presence of an entry point. In this video, I want to point out the differences between a Windows app and a console app, which are ever so subtle. No real big difference at all, to be honest. I'm going to list the contents of the directory. You know I've been saving this file to this directory right here, me C Sharp code, just so it's simple and easy to get to. I'm going to say, hey, C Sharp compiler, please compile main class dot cs. Now the default here is a console application and to name the executable the same as one of the input files. The only input file in this case main class dot exe is what it will call it. I'm going to change up both of those. I'm going to be explicit and say hey I, I really do want a console app. I don't need to say this but I'm just proving to you that I can. It's going to make a console application. And Let me uh, let's change it to uh, me console exe and hit enter compiles just fine list the concept the contents of the directory we have me console exe I can run it me console exe hello world prints no big deal let's clear the screen and let's make a Windows application now out of this I'm going to do the exact same command that I did before except now instead of saying target exe I'm going to say target win exe, and I'm going to call this me windows dot exe main class dot cs. Let me clear the screen again. List the contents of the directory. Now we have two executables: the Windows version, the console version, both made out of a simple hello world file here. Let's run me windows dot exe, and you'll see there's no output. All right, let me run me console dot exe. We have output. Right, me windows.exe has no output. Me console.exe has output. Let me look at the actual directory on my hard drive here. And if I double click this, don't blink, but watch what happens. Do you see that? Black window, black window. Every time I run it, you can't see it print off screen, but it's saying hello world very quickly in the black console window. Let me run the Windows executable. I'm double clicking all day long. No black window coming up. No big deal, All right? So, hmm, I wonder. Let's investigate a little bit further, like we did in the last video. Ildasm slash out. Let's call it me console dot text file, and the input assembly will be me console uh, dot exe. Do the same thing, but we're gonna say me windows, me windows dot text, and we'll say me. Windows will be the input assembly. Run that, and now we have two text files here: the console and the and the Windows version. I'm going to minimize that and stick with my command prompt, though. Me console tab tab tab. Let's open up the console text file like we did in the last one, and then let's do me Windows dot text. Hit enter. Now we have both of them open, back to back. Let's click on this and then alt tab over to the other one. Do you see any difference? I'm alt tabbing again between the two. You can see the the uh, names of the files are different, but let me alt tab. Do you see any difference between the two? It's very subtle. I can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Let me let me actually scroll down. Uh, I don't want to scroll down all the way. Let's page down. Page down page down in both files. Do you see the difference? The difference is still on the screen somewhere, but besides that they look very, very similar. Okay, now let's page down all the way, page down all the way. The difference is now gone. Okay, so these two look very much the same. Let me page up again, page up again. Do you see the difference at all? Let me highlight an area right here. Okay, this right here. In fact, this is comments, so it doesn't really matter. This is what I'm interested in right there. Let me alt tab. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. The the Windows version it has a two for a subsystem, which I guess uh, enumerates to the enum value Windows GUI, and then the console version has a three, meaning Windows GUI or console UI. So what's the difference between a Windows app and a console app? It's simply a matter of one value right here saying open up the black console window. That's it. 
Okay, in a in a Windows app, when you say console write line, all of it just kind of disappears. There's no output window. It goes to this thing called the bit bucket, which doesn't actually exist. It just goes to nowhere. Whereas in a console app, if you say console write line, it says, oh yeah, I'll write that out to the black window. That is the only difference. Okay, now you can make Windows forms and open them up and show them in a console app. In fact, it's very typical for me to run a Windows app as a console app simply so I have the console in the background for debugging purposes. I'll write things out to the console if necessary. And then when I actually ship it, I'll take away the console. Now, I could use the Visual Studio trace and debug tools for sure, but for some reason, it just feels so warm and comfortable to have that black console window sitting in the background. But if anyone ever asks you, what's the difference between a console app and a Windows app and .NET, just say, it's a matter of one bit. Okay, it takes one bit to change a three to a two. And that one bit, you can think of it like a little Boolean saying, show the black console window, or don't show the black console window. But there you go. Now you're, now you're enlightened.